So as we talk about all of this, where's Donald Trump right now? He has no event scheduled today before heading back to Wisconsin tomorrow. The billionaire candidate kind of staying out of the spotlight after a pretty turbulent week on the campaign trail. First, he had to deal with his campaign manager, Corey Lewandowski, getting charged with battery on a reporter. Then he stumbled on major policy questions regarding not just abortion, but there were the NATO issues, nuclear weapons, as well as the abortion situation just two days ago. And now another poll, our brand new Fox Business poll shows, as I mentioned, that Donald Trump is trailing Ted Cruz in Wisconsin. Let's bring in Katrina Pearson. She's national spokesperson for Trump's campaign. Great to see you, Katrina. Number one, Hi, um, where's Donald Trump today? Why no appearances in Wisconsin? Uh, well, he's actually preparing for six events uh, in Wisconsin, and he may actually be there tonight. Mr. Trump is always full of surprises. Uh, but I would also like to mention, uh, I heard you mention the, the NATO comments and, yep. and the uh, foreign policy comments, and those really were not fully discussed in the media simply because uh, it was reported that Mr. Trump, mainly by Senator Ted Cruz, wanted to pull out of NATO, and that's not correct. Donald Trump wants to re-engage NATO and update their mission and not withdraw. So I wanted to make sure that was clear. I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. Um, what is also clear, though, is that there is a lot of conjecture right now that he is laying low because of this abortion brouhaha, where he <laughs> said that, you know, and I, I, I hate to just continue to, to hammer this story, but it is still part of the national discussion right now after he said that women should be punished for having illegal abortions. So the the question really, really is, did the gaffe force him to change his strategy at all? And, and have you spoken to him about how he fixes it? If he misspoke, uh, what does he do to fix that? Well, he did put out a statement, and I think we're all pretty clear that Mr. Trump doesn't hide uh, from anything. Um, he is actually preparing, again, like I said, for six events coming up in the state of Wisconsin. Um, but there were clarifications sent out in the media, and the reason why it's still a story is simply because it's Donald Trump. That's what the media likes to talk about. Um, with regard to, to the, the words themselves, uh, there were actually two statements sent out. One, because you had media outlets, not yours, reporting that Donald Trump issued a, or declared a ban on abortion, and that simply did not happen. And then the second clarification mm -hmm. came out simply because when he was having the discussion about a hypothetical context of a ban, right. he wanted to make sure that his words were clear, that he does not support punishment from a woman having an illegal abortion, but the practitioner who was committing the illegal act. Okay, so now I, I just, I, I still don't get it. I mean, if you're talking <laughs> about throwing doctors in prison, it's not working right now in the Midwest because Ted Cruz is ahead in Wisconsin. So you, you've got these issues, and, and first it was, now you've got, let, let's put it this way, let's reverse it. He believes what he believes, but you now have immigrant groups, at least some of them against him. You have anti-Klan groups against him. You have pro-choice people against him. Katrina, they're not going to be much left except Jews for Jesus at this point if he keeps <laughs> offending people. Well, it's not really about offending people. I mean, honestly, there is the truth is inherently belligerent. And we have someone who is not politically correct who is going to speak the truth. And he's been doing that from the beginning. And he has been winning. We have one state where a candidate in some polls have pulled ahead. But that's not to say that's what it looks like in the rest of the states. We look at New York. We look at Pennsylvania. Mr. True, Trump is true. poised to do very mm -hmm. well moving forward. It's Senator Ted Cruz that has to worry about the state of Wisconsin, not Donald Trump. Okay, I agree with you. If Donald Trump is the fastest runner, he should absolutely be allowed to win. Was that discussed in that meeting with the RNC yesterday in D.C.? What happened in that meeting? And was the abortion issue brought up? Uh, was this, you guys better be fair to me, brought up as well? <laughs> Well, in that meeting, uh, Mr. Trump has made it very clear that he does want to unite the party. This is not his first meeting in Washington, D.C. with party leaders. Um, that's what this meeting was about. They discussed a number of issues that were off the record. And Mr. Trump is committed to bringing the party together. I think more importantly, this was an opportunity, Liz. Um, as, as you know, when you don't know someone, it's very easy to, to project and to criticize. But when you meet them and you look them face in the face and ask them questions and get their answers, then you can have a better idea of where they're coming from. And I think what a lot of people have realized that Mr. Trump is serious about this nomination, about becoming president, and about uniting the party. It's funny that you say that because in the beginning, 
people were saying he's not serious about this. He's doing it as a PR stunt. Right. Uh, you're here to say today he is extremely serious about that and he cares. And once you get one on one with him, you know, people say that about Hillary Clinton too, that she seems very stiff and, and people don't like her on that big stage. And she upsets <laughs> people. And then when they get one on one with her, they feel different about that. But he can't do that every time. So does he have to work on sending his message in a clearer and, and perhaps more acceptable way? Well, I think that's the point that you just made, is that's what he's doing. He's only been a politician for eight months. He's still going to continue to be Trump, but he is learning how to navigate political waters and, more importantly, political media, and he talks about that a lot. The difference here between Mr. Trump and the other Republican candidates is he's the only one that doesn't receive a government paycheck. Mr. Trump is personally invested in this country because his mm -hmm. entire legacy depends on making America great again and keeping it fiscally responsible. That is a big turn on for a lot of his fans. A Katrina, lot of people, yeah. Katrina, thank you. You know, I know nice sometimes we, we come in here and we, we kind of push back a little bit. That's <laughs> our job. We appreciate you right. dealing with that. And thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Anytime. So,